right, so um, this is actually my first time speaking ever, okay? And I gotta thank Ken for giving me the opportunity for this. And one thing that's really cool for me is that this was actually the first event that I ever went to in my life, back in 2009 in Washington, D.C. So it's kind of ironic, right? The first event I ever went to, and now it's my first speaking, even though it's 10 minutes, right? But at the event, so it was kind of cool, so thank you, man. Now, today I'm gonna to be talking about product creation, right? And how, for those that wanna create products, right? How can you create a product that one, people actually want, two, that they create for you, and three, that they pay you for. Like give you money for the product that they want and create it for you, okay? Now before I get started, real quick for those that never, don't know me, my name is Joy Kasimi, and first and foremost, I am a father and a husband, okay? I got three awesome kids, an 18-year-old, 13-year-old, both girls, and a three-year-old boy, okay? My wife, I've been with for over 21 years. We just celebrated last, last month in March 22nd, okay? I'm a blogger. I run a blog at Incompress.com. I'm a podcaster, software developer, an iPhone app developer, and my latest online venture that I just started about a month and a half ago, developing and designing WordPress blog themes, okay? Now, that's my super duper quick intro of who I am and what I do. And you may have noticed that that last little bit, I got my hands into like many, many different pools, right? I create different types of products, software, web-based apps that people could use, right? iPhone games, I've been doing that since 2011. Designing, developing WordPress apps or WordPress blog themes. I've done training programs, coaching programs, uh, membership sites, all different kinds of products. Now, even though they're different, they all serve a different purpose, different need, different audience. One thing they all have in common is the way that I create them. Every single one of my products, no matter what niche, what type, I do it the exact same way. I've been doing this since 2010, a three-step process. Very simple and easy, and it almost sounds lame, but it's the exact process that I've used since 2010 and currently use for my latest project, uh, the you know, WordPress theme thing. A month and a half ago, I used the same exact three process. So hopefully you guys could you know, learn from this and for those who want to create and you know, get some ideas. Three steps. The first one is gather information. The second one is ask them. The third step, give it to them. Sounds easy, right? Almost sounds so lame, but it's that simple. And I know like Tom, he's a product creator. That's exact, that's, right? It's that simple. So let's break it down, right? And this is the exact way that I've been doing it for years, okay? The first one, gather information. There's only three ways that I do it. Okay, it doesn't matter what type of product, software, coaching program, whatever. Okay, forums, community boards, and reviews, like actual product reviews. That's the best because people actually tell you if they hate it or if they love it, and what they like about it and what they don't like about it. Okay, these three forms that I use is my favorites. The only ones that I literally use is because they're full of, for lack of a better word, complainers. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. That's actually a very good thing. Okay, I'm a complainer. You're complaining everybody. Because these people, what they do is they give feedback. Do they love it? Whether they hate it? If it's too hard, too difficult to use, if, if certain features that they wish that they had, Okay, and even in these forums, right, in these community boards, if a product doesn't exist, you will literally see these people asking, hey, is there a product or service that has these features, that does this and this and that? For example, my latest online venture, WordPress, you know, develop and designing. At the beginning of the year, one of my private clients, he wants to start a podcast show, right? Well, I went out there looking for a podcast theme. I could not find one single damn podcast theme. I mean, out of the gazillions of free WordPress themes out there, okay, out of the millions of premium ones that you pay, right, not one podcast theme. Not one. I couldn't believe that. Okay? So what I did, <coughs> I created a podcast theme. These people are literally asking, just like me, is there a podcast theme group out there? Right? I'm a creator. I'm in the middle of creating. It launches in May. Once I'm done, I'm going to give it to them. Okay? Number two, ask them. Like, literally, ask them. Those same forums, those same community boards, ask them, hey, what kind of features do you want on this? What kind of uh, things, that, what would you like on this product if it was available? Okay, because they literally tell you what's, 
what features they want, what product they'd be willing to pay for. Okay, if you have a list, a lot of you guys are list builders. The best way, question or survey, three question survey. Did this in 2010 when I first started this, you know, this whole three step thing. Okay, survey my list. What type of products do you want me to create that will benefit you best? Okay, list building, affiliate marketing, all kinds of stuff. They literally told me, the majority of them, about 80% wanted list building. So I created it for them. They told me what they wanted for it. And one of the last questions was, how much would you be willing to pay for it? I had like 10 different price points. They literally told me what they would be willing to pay for it. So it was easy for me. Create the product and slap a price on it. Boom. The last step, give it to them. That's as little as it gets. You literally give it to them. And that's when you start creating your products, okay? Because you first gather your information, okay? Get all the feedback from them, what they like, what they don't like. Then you ask them, because they're literally creating the product for you. They're telling you, hey, I want these features there. I want this and that, okay? And then you create that. And then once you're done creating it, you literally just put it in a nice little shiny box, slap a price point on it, and say, here. Okay, these people, literally, they create the products for you. What the features that they're telling you, the feedback, is because they're literally telling you the products, if it was available, i pay for it. If a podcast theme was available, I would have purchased it. If someone had that product, they would earn my money. No one has it. I ain't going to be the first guy with a WordPress theme dedicated only to podcasts. Okay, the first guy, and I'm gonna bank on that. So that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, literally, you gather all the information, put all the feedback as the stuff. If you if you're gonna replicate a current product or service, take out all the stuff that they hate, and then when you ask them, okay, add the features that they want. Put it in a nice little shiny box, slap a price point on it, say here, give me money. That's pretty much it, guys. My name is Joyce. Send me peace. I love you so much.